Hi, my name is Erin Smith, and I'm here on the Highlands Mission Trip. And I came here because we should really help the people who really need it the most. And even driving out here, helping the people that need it the most is most important. So, we're here, we're doing a floor in there. Even though it's hard work, it's still worth it. So, live for Jesus. Hi, I'm Garrett Thalen, and uh, I just uh, came here because I realize these people need a lot of help, and um, I feel like God was calling me to do it, and it just feels good to help people out. Rob and Lisa, we are here uh, motivated to show God's unconditional love for all people. That's why we're here. The refrigerator, if the refrigerator doesn't fit in this truck, then then we have to if if then we gotta put it back in the nail. Mm -hmm. And then if the white truck's back where it is, then we put that in the white truck. Okay. Got that? I did. There is a candle in every soul Some brightly burning, and some dark and cold And there is a spirit who brings a fire Ignites a candle and makes his own Carry your candle Run to the darkness, seek out the helpless, confused and torn, and hold out your candle for all to see. Yeah. Take your candle, and go like your word. Take your candle. like a office, guest room, extra TV or something, or my friend's visit. This is bedroom and bedroom. Video for the cage. What should say this was? I used to say, I don't know what to do with this. Yeah, it's a slow process. You would think, all right, just empty it and then start fixing. But, um, you know, a lot of people uh, have a very modest income and they kind of have to wait for insurance to come in so they could mm -hmm. start buying supplies. And so then that takes a couple of months just to hear from the uh, insurance or for whatever reason, you know, trying to hire some. There's a lot of people that are um, elderly or single moms or women or even single guys that don't don't know a lot of people. First of all, thank you for allowing us to be a part of your life. Mm -hmm. It means a lot to us. And uh, we're here um, in the name of Jesus to, to bring you to help be part of your recovery. And uh, we represent the Charles Finney School. And uh, we have a lot of items out there uh, for you, to hopefully to help you guys to begin to rebuild. Yeah. Thank you. I have to say it's a tremendous um, moral support. Just knowing, even though you guys were way upstate <laughs> when we first talked, mm -hmm. but it was, uh, you know, you feel a little bit of the weight lifted, knowing people thinking of you, and yeah, yeah so I appreciate it very much. Yeah. Carry your candle, run to the darkness, seek out the helpless, confused and torn, and hold out your candle. For all to see, yeah. take your candle and go like your word. Take your candle and go like your word. <laughs>
<laughs> this is great. Oh my gosh. Some pots and pans, coffee cup, kitchen utensils. Oh, <laughs> it's good to have four. Perfect. Wonderful. We're set. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're going to need that. Uh, I have no hanging lamps, so once we're in, it'll just be outlet. So this is perfect. Wonderful. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Yay! Hallelujah. <laughs> I don't have a coffee machine right now. I've been holding out. Now you do. No. All right, I'm going to put this to use like tomorrow morning. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. It will work. All right. Wonderful. Thank you. So, uh, do you mind if we pray for you? No, I'd like that. Thank you. Okay. We thank you for Jesus who said, I came not into this world to be served, but to serve. I don't know if you know what happened, but yes, we had Sandy on October 29th, but a year prior to that, in September of 2011, we had Hurricane Irene, and Lisa lost the entire shop then, was just getting it back together, and was going to open on November 1st, and Sandy came and devastated her again, and that is why she was chosen, because she rose and tried to struggle on, and we want her in the community, so that's how we chose her. I uh, came here to help other people recover from the recent hurricane. I mean, I have been called to help others, and it's so far been a great experience. I just wanted to do something to help, and these people lost so much, and I have family that lives around here, and I just wanted to do something to help them. And what I hope to get out of this trip is help helping other people arrive and doing something for ourselves. Challenges in life. 
victims, especially these Hurricane Sandy victims, which is a very positive feeling to get joy in the moment that you're helping somebody um, reach their goals and their dreams. And um, also just knowing that you care helps bring some smile to their face and it brings you pure joy and happiness. Righteousness, but rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Aww. We love you guys. such a wonderful, special, loving thing that you do to give you time so freely.